everyone so this is my eight week bump video yes that is right i am eight weeks pregnant and that is felix <laughs> he wanted to be in the video as well if for those of you who don't know felix is my cat so yeah eight weeks um still a lot of the same symptoms but i'm really excited to update you guys because we had our first doctor's appointment and so we got to see the baby and I do have an ultrasound picture so I can't wait to show you guys. But first, let's go over, um, you know, just different things. So the baby this week is the size of a raspberry. Pretty crazy to think about because um, we have blueberries and raspberries in our refrigerator right now. And it's just so crazy to see the difference between a small blueberry and a big raspberry. I mean, wow what a difference and um so that was really cool to see so yes big as a raspberry um baby is forming arms uh i think the hands are still webbed um tail is gone by now um and it's just chugging along keep developing um so it's exciting so um symptoms this week um the number one thing that i'm experiencing which is just like last week and the week before is nausea I cannot kick this nausea for the life of me. It's terrible. Um, I'm trying these new drops um, that I found at the grocery store. They have ginger and blood red orange in them and so I'm trying that to see if it'll work. I just can't kick it and my morning sickness is not morning. It's all day every day. Um, it seems that it gets a little bit worse if I don't eat, but the problem is, is again, with my nausea, it makes me not want to eat at all. So that's the number one thing that I'm really having problems with. Um, another symptom that I noticed this week is acne. I have been breaking out like crazy and it's really mostly along my jaw. I've just been experiencing so much acne. I mean definitely along my jaw, on my cheeks, my, um, I got one on the top of my nose. I mean, it's just coming out like crazy. I've got some of it like on my legs. It's just bad. Um, so that was something new this week. Still not feeling as thirsty as I was in the beginning. Um, I am passing gas a lot more, um, burping a lot more. I have noticed that this week I am super tired. I swear every night I go to bed a half hour early because I'm just exhausted and so I go to bed so early and then Anthony will come to bed and he'll try to talk to me and I just get so grumpy because I'm just so tired 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 I just want to sleep I haven't been it hasn't been too bad during the day it's not like oh my gosh I need a nap now or I'm gonna die it's just at night I just get so so tired so early now food cravings um i really haven't had any food cra food cravings i have been drinking apple juice like crazy it's my new favorite thing um i just can't get enough of it i think it just tastes amazing um i got apple juice in like little containers that i can take with me to lunch and like throughout the day so i've just been loving that um, but any of my drinks that are really cold i love really cold things i'm still loving fruit vegetables I am not doing well with um Anthony cooked me a stir fry the other day and uh it had some broccoli and some cauliflower in it and I tried to eat it but I mean like I would eat it and I would like gag like almost to the point of puking I have not puked yet from my nausea so that's something good um I did hear that some women tend to experience puking more on the 10th week so I'm a little nervous that it might escalate but we'll see but I just could not stomach that broccoli and cauliflower and even even chicken I usually love chicken but if it's just plain chicken and I don't have anything to like dip it in or it's not fried if it's just grilled plain grilled chicken I can't do it I can't eat it I will puke it up not puke it up but I mean like I tried to eat some of it and I seriously had to spit it back out. I just couldn't eat it, which is crazy because I love chicken. So, not really having any food aversions, like, oh my gosh, if I smell it, that's gross, but that's kind of some of the things that I've been experiencing um, in terms of, like, um, food um, cravings. Again, fruit. Um, sometimes I'll really crave meat, uh, burgers sometimes. Um, 
which I've heard that could be linked to like a uh, deficiency of iron. A lot of stuff with cheese on it. I just really, really like cheese right now. So let me update you on our doctor's appointment. So I had a doctor's appointment um, this week during my eight weeks of pregnancy. And um, it was my first prenatal appointment ever. <laughs> so I was really nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Thankfully, Anthony came along with me. Um, he was thrilled, but I was really excited that he came. So we went and, um, of course, first you get in, they take, you know, I had tons of paperwork I had to fill out. Thankfully, they sent it to me beforehand. So I just filled it out all out at home. And then I gave it to them when I got there. They took our insurance and just different stuff like that. Um, then when they took me back, they weighed me, they took my height, they asked me a couple questions. Um, is this your first pregnancy? Would you be interested in genetic counseling? You know, different stuff like that. Um, I had to pee in a cup, which was wonderful. Um, and then I went into the room and I met my doctor and she's super nice, very talkative. Um, but easygoing, young, I just feel like I can really talk to her about anything. And so she was just asking me, you know, how are you feeling? And I told her about the nausea. She told me some different things. Um, ginger, she said to try. She said B6 vitamin, try that. Um, she says, thankfully, it should only be a couple more weeks and then you should be feeling great and your energy should be back, especially in the second trimester. So I'm hoping I can just get through these next few weeks. Um, so then she left the room and she had me undress. And then we got to the best part of the whole day was the ultrasound. Um, and it was really cool. They had these new machines. Um, and so the picture was really clear. Now, when you see this picture, you're not going to be impressed because it literally looks like a blob, which is funny because I've been going around like calling the baby blob now because I just think that's what it looks like. But I'll show you. So this is the little ultrasound picture and I'll show you a close up. So um, obviously the black is my uterus and then right here, this is the baby. And I can't really remember what she said, but I wanna say she said the head was here and then the bottom was over here. But I'm really not sure. But again, like obviously there's not much to look at, <laughs> but it means a lot to me. It's my little blob. <laughs> she showed us that. She said it was too early to listen to the heartbeat, but next time I have another appointment in four weeks, we should be able to hear the appointment. Um, and thankfully from now on, they should be able to do the ultrasound um, just by using on my tummy. So that'll be much more comfortable and much better for me. Um, she was able to look around at my other organs, make sure everything was great and looking good. Um, and so she just answered any questions that we had and then um, that was it. It was really fast. And then I went and got my blood drawn. Um, so we did a couple tests, I think just to see like, you know, if I am prone to um, cystic fibrosis and like in my sh blood sugar, how's it doing and just different stuff like that. She did say that later on there are options where I can get blood drawn and it can do genetic counseling and then also um, we can find out like the baby's gender that way and see if there's anything wrong with the baby. That will all come in the future. So um, it was just really cool to see that picture. I can't wait till next time because then we can hear the heartbeat. Um, I did see in the ultrasound picture the heart flickering, so I did see it beating, and the doctor commented on it too, we just couldn't hear it yet, so I'm really, really excited, but everything looks good so far. She said my uterus looks really good. We were able to see the little yolk sac next to it. Um, she said I was measuring exactly at eight weeks, and so my due date uh, is set for April 4th. So when I went online, you know, you can go on any website and they'll have uh, cal pregnancy cal due date calculators and you just put in your like last uh, period and then it will calculate your due date for you. So when I did that, I got April 1st as a due date, which I was not too happy about because I really don't want an April Fool's baby. Not to be mean to any of you who might have April Fool's birthdays, April 1st birthdays, but I just feel like if, if my birthday was on April 1st, no one would believe me because they say, oh, it's just April Fool's. So I don't want that for my child. So April 4th was a much better date for me. Um, 
she said 37 weeks is considered full term so I could go early but I have heard that a lot of women in their first pregnancy will go over their due date um, just because their body's not used to it and it takes a little longer so anytime in there um, that's when it'll happen so it was a great appointment um, didn't really care for getting blood drawn and things like that but it's worth it for the baby and then we just scheduled our next appointment in four weeks so um, Anthony wasn't too impressed he thought we would see more on the um, ultrasound <laughs> so yeah little blob is doing great and um, can't wait to see you know the picture get better as it gets bigger um, can't wait to find out the gender you know there's just so many exciting things to come in the future another exciting event which I will be able to tell you about it in the next video is this weekend I Anthony and I are finally gonna tell my parents that we are pregnant so um, you're you must be thinking like oh my gosh eight weeks how she how has she not told her parents yet yeah I feel that too but my parents live far away and I wanted to tell them in person I didn't want to just call them or send them a text or a picture I want to tell them in person so they're coming uh, this weekend my sister is actually going to move out of our house and into her own apartment and so I'm planning on surprising them there. I actually have this cute little card and I'll show you. Um, that This is kind of how I'm planning on telling them. I've thought of like there's so many different ways. You could go on YouTube and see so many videos of different ways people have told their parents and I almost wanted to do like pretend you're taking a picture or actually take a picture and then you know you say one, two instead of three say like Shannon's pregnant and then do that but I decided not and so I went with this and I saw it on Etsy it was like two dollars so it actually wasn't that bad so this is it um, and so it's just a card and it says guess what on the front and then on the inside it says baby due you know April 2018 um, and then I'm planning on putting the ultrasound picture right in here so I'm planning on just setting this card down um, like on the kitchen island and I'm hoping that my parents or someone will be nosy enough to be like hmm what does this mean and then they'll open it and then surprise they will find out um, I don't think my parents have any idea they keep asking me like when are you gonna get pregnant and I keep telling them oh not for a while Anthony's still not okay with it so I'm hoping they don't know I'm thinking it's more likely that Allison my sister might know because she has been living here and um, there's a lot of signs of it. I've been trying to keep my things hidden, but you know, she could always snoop around or just realize, you know, oh, she doesn't drink alcohol or, you know, different things like that. So I'm hoping it's still a surprise. I don't know. I'll definitely update you guys on what happened in the next video. So that'll be really exciting to update you guys on. And yeah, I'm just tricking along, still in the first trimester. Um, baby's still growing. And I think that's all for this week. So thank you for listening to my video and following me. Be sure to subscribe so you can see, you know, the next video that I post. When I tell you about, um, you know, how I told everyone and maybe I can get a reaction video in there. I don't know. I don't want it to be too obvious and be like, oh, I'm recording. They're like, why are you recording? You know, so it might not happen, but I'll definitely be able to tell you about it. So definitely stay tuned for the next video. One last thing. Um, I'll show you my bump, my belly, <laughs> belly shot. Um, so get out here so here it is belly shot from the side from the front and then from the side again as you can see like there is definitely like a bump and right now I'm just like is that really a bump or am I just gaining weight or like am I bloated because like look that's like a bump I don't know though it could just be my imagination. But yeah, that's basically how I'm doing right now. Put it right here. <laughs> Baby. Yep, there it is. So, yeah. So there is a little bump date for you guys.